Yeah, too many condoms peace. I wanted to say uh got the hat yesterday. As you can see it, you specially made uh Kemet Ray Ma'at, which means Black Sun Justice. So I wanna thank you for that. And uh my wife she wanted to say something too. My hat was specially made as well, and it means first to step out of the waters of noon. And I wanna say thank you to my aunt forever. Very nice. Our sister RP is in a place to be. What's up, sister? Uh E T Sen E. How you doing? E. T Sen E. I'm doing Nefer. Oh, great, great. Um well, I got it today. I, I was thinking it was coming from France, but then I did the tracking and it was outside actually when I went to check and here it is. Oh, that's what's up. It's just like my hat. That's what's up. Yeah. Let me, let me do the, 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 the solo layout. There it is, brothers and sisters. That's yeah. what's up. I really like this. Yeah, so I um I have an after school program that I um help facilitate. And I'm going to wear this because we're going to start talking about coding. Okay. So I'm going to use this as an introduction because this is a code. It's mm. ancient code, but it's still a code. And then we're going to be able to, you know, I'll be able to demonstrate to them the meanings inside each of the, you know, glyphs and stuff. So, but yeah, I was looking online and I was like, this is actually like really good designs, you know. <laughs> so as soon as I get some more. Uh, you know, extra money. I'm gonna get the matching hat, and I want to get a Maat shirt. But I, I really like the uh, Kemet one. Uh, to start with, yeah. So it's really good, and and the prices ain't ain't bad either. So. Uh, Sister Andrea Brunet is in a place to be. How you doing, Senate? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. So you have something to show us today? <laughs> Yes, I I went on to the product line and I bought three shirts and I just wanted to show you all what I got. Oh, let's see. Okay, so this is the first one. This is the the onk shirt. The onk shirt. I got it in black and gold, but I think I'm gonna go and get a blue one too. All right. Okay, so that's the first one. All and right. And then the oh, it looks this, good. Yeah, oh, I don't know. Man. Yeah, this is the Maat one. Oh, that's so I don't sad. know if you can see. Yeah, I, we see. I'm we trying. See. Can you see it? Nice bright and, color. You know. Yeah, I love this. I love this color. I love it. And then the piece of resistance is my favorite. I'm one. To be too nice. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Even on the sleeve. Even on the sleeve. All right. Even on the sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> I had it. Oh, yeah, this is this is the lick right here. So I'll be oh. wearing that on your next live. I will have this one on. Oh, yeah. That's All right. So that's Thank that's you. the three ones I got. Thank you Love very them. much for your support. It's appreciated. I'm glad that you like the products. You're welcome. You're welcome. Right. We'll see you on the next live stream. All right. See you soon, sister. Okay. Hotel. <laughs> All right. All right. Hey, brother Donnie Williams. See, so you got your your mail. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, Shock? I was gonna do just. A, I know it's a serious serious topic, but I was gonna do a little. Uh, oh, I appreciate that, unboxing. bro. I'm glad. So you know. Glad. Yeah, yeah. Live yeah, unboxing, dude. bro. You you don't mind if if I use this excerpt, you know, like as a clip? My no. Intro? No. Oh, it's all good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. For those who wonder, I'm gonna share them. <clears throat> All right, that's lovely. Yeah, I got the I got the Heather Gray. Oh man, I yeah. Oh, you got the Kemet shirt as well. Okay. Yeah, can you? See? I didn't know it had um that on the back In though. The back. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> that's what's up, that's man. Lovely. Oh, thank you. So, I appreciate uh, that. Yeah. So just letting you know, just uh, coming through, uh, showing some support real quick, man. I'm about to uh, get back into this uh, Netflix film, so. Um, just want to say peace, man, and thanks. Yeah, thanks a lot, brother. Okay. All right.
of Tabs Tenu and Asenut E.T. and Isha Kam de Gukemet. I hope you're doing well. The title of this last stream is Garfield Reed told Smash Rockwell to get off Jabari's penis. And I've used the polite word. He used the word that starts with the letter D. Some of you may have seen a different thumbnail picture and you will know why. First, I'm going to check the sound quality. So bear with me one moment. This is the conscious community now. So the conscious folks. Okay, the sound is okay. So, initially, I prepared this last stream, and the title was Egyptomaniac is better than rape maniac. But let me not let me not waste time because you never know. First, I will share my screen and show you. This is Garfield Reed's account, YouTube channel. You can already see the upcoming stream, but let's go on his channel. And you can see it there. You go to live stream. Look at this here. You see this? It's funny because this person left a comment and wrote Egyptomania. You know, boxing glove, kimono, like, as if there's going to be a fight against Egyptomania and there's even a coffin. But anyway, look at the title. Why does Frankie protect Jabari? Smash walk where get off Jabari and then you have the D word. And he goes also at Chris because Chris is actually uh, streaming. Chris said FM. He was cool with Garfield when he was on that platform order. But anyway, he will start his live stream as you can see in 48 minutes. But everything was all good just a week ago. Now, if uh, Vibena is in the place to be hot up to you. Now let me show you what I had as a title. Oh, 
Pass not showing. Oh snap, what's going on? Oh, I'm gonna try again then. I don't know what's going on. Oh, what? Okay. What screen is it gonna work now? Um, oh, you know what? I'll, I always forget that I can open pictures on uh, on my browser. So I'm going to open it here. All right. So let me can close this. Oh, well, you know what? On the other browser. OK, there it is. So now I can share it. all right so chris is streaming he was supposed to start it yesterday i don't know what happened he usually has some problem with his connection emotive university tv is in the place to be how you doing brother hotel to you and that person here with the account teach one each one teach one that's mainly rob one but that person at the bottom, True Storian, he's the person that used to do the, they had a NBK, I forgot the title of their uh, channel. So it is possible that sometime True Storian used it or maybe still using it, but each one, each one is definitely Rabo. Now those three messages are separate messages. You know, you can see the, the, the white coloring uh, as a space. So you can see that he first wrote in the chat and there was about 200 people so a few people have seen he wrote rabon accepts all fades from all egyptomaniacs don't be afraid and you can see that after that i tagged him and you know what happens when you tag somebody when you put at and you put the person's username when he is in the chat his name will be highlighted so it will be obvious each one teach one is rabon that's a fact yes indeed so i tagged him and you can see that i wrote his username correctly and i wrote i think rabon is not ready to dialogue with shakan who came at today at 4 p.m est using a webcam am i wrong and he just ignored my message he responded to other people. For example, also I'm a car that Garfield called crazy just a couple of days ago. So then I wrote, Rabon is not ready, just like I thought. And his friend, associate, current associate or past associate, true historian was there so that's just for the record hence why initially my title was egyptomaniac is better than rape mania now first i thought about tight and titling the video egyptomaniacs but no christian maniacs nor muslim maniacs this is Garfield's team. The, the, those are Garfield's associates. And as you know, lately, they've been using that term Egyptomaniac as a negative. You would think that the people who follow Kemet are the worst on the planet Earth, even though they are a minority. But they know, and Rabon knows as well. Now, mind you, I'm not labeling him a rape maniac. But he knows, Garfield knows, nearly all these people from the conscious community know that rapists and child molesters are supported and defended on the rape okay platform and that white supremacy is also allowed and tolerated on that platform as well but they will not say oh this person is like white supremacist maniac that person is a 
rape mania is not a problem to them. But the people who follow Kemet, it's a problem to them. Love me for how you doing, sister. Hope you're doing well. Imhotep University wrote, Rabon is afraid of being ostracized. I'm not losing sleep over it. It is what it is. But brothers and sisters, from now on, whenever you see people using the term Egyptomaniacs, you know that you can use rape mania and you can tell them for the record that they are afraid to holler at Chaka Nduku Kemet. They know who to talk nonsense with. They know where it will slide. And as a matter of fact, as I usually do, link to get on the panel. And I put use a webcam. Besides that, anybody can participate in the chat. People just need to be a subscriber for one minute that's the minimum so if you know anybody that likes to use the term Egyptomania can make fun of people who like Kemet or who try to follow the teaching or writing of Kemet then feel free to let them know that we can dialogue I don't even need to say that they can get this work we can dialogue dialogue is great so he came up saying that he accepts all faiths from all Egyptomaniacs. And he even added, don't be afraid, but he's afraid. And that's something. Sometimes people come, you know, come in the place to be on some rah-rah tip. Talking loud and delivering. And ready. So, tell me. How do you feel about Trackfield telling Smash Rockwell to get off Jabari's penis? Everything was all good just a few days ago. Didn't I tell you that Garfield is not well at all? That if people know him, they should call him because he may go in depression. He may be depressed. He used to be cool, cool with Smash Rockwell. Now, Smash Rockwell, we've seen him insulting Unk because Unk labeled him a coward. I don't wish to see any fight. I don't wish to see any physical fight. With all the people that I mentioned. But. Knowing that Smash Rockwell had some smoke. And insulted Unk. And told him to shut the F up. And told him other things. Called him a crackhead. Just over being labeled a coward. Now. I'm wondering what the energy will be. When it comes to Smash Rockwell. Regarding. Garfield Reed. Who today has told him publicly to get off Jabari's private parts. For a strange reason, once again, Galfrey Reed has no smoke for Abrahamic believers. Now, I have already played that person who said that he will rape in time of war but Robon will not call him a rape maniac for a strange reason all these things get a pass if you minute wrote Chaka they're scared of you intellectually they shouldn't be all they need to, be, to, to do is just chill and communicate but they use those negative terms. They use those negative terms. And they've been doing that probably for at least a couple of years. Maybe three, four years. But we can say for sure 
for at least two years they've been using this negative term egyptomania as if the people who follow Kemet are some of the worst on the planet earth and the people who follow Kemet are a minority among black folk now on this panel the rape okay they like to claim black power now when somebody says that he hates Africans and he celebrates the death of Africans when Africans die he celebrates it is that black power when someone says live on air that he will rape in times of war is that black power so the scamming isn't a thing for them the rape isn't a thing for them white supremacy isn't a thing for them but the the, the people who follow egypt oh my goodness but now we have it for the record so as usual feel free i have a little bit of time you can address any topic something that i mentioned something that i did not mention it's up to you but my goodness smash rock well has been told instructed to get off Jabari Osas's penis and this is public this is the conscious community those are the moral lesson givers the, those are the moral lessons givers they've been telling people how to behave you heard them oh vb will go live i'm gonna share his link smash rock will actually wrote a message and he, he wrote that he saw the hate when he was on the squad so since he wrote that it's safe to presume that he is no longer on the squad now the squad that will be the Amon Ra squad it looks like there's trouble in paradise let me share V Bennett's upcoming live stream I will finish in due time. Hey, the fight doctor, how you doing, brother? It's been a minute. Hold on. I'm gonna share VB's upcoming stream. Done. It's been shared. Fight Delta, brother. What's your opinion about Gareth Hillary going public and telling Smash Rockwell to get off to Barry's penis? And everybody else can give their opinion. You have. Oh, sorry. This is the link to get on the panel. I would like to hear from you, brothers and sisters. And even if you want to address any other any other topic, feel free. You know where I'm live streaming. All subjects, all topics are welcome.
Cold War. Yeah, I feel it has no smoke for the rapists. He has no smoke for the scammers. How you doing, brother V. Bennett? Yo, can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear, brother. Okay. Yeah, man. I mean, I don't know. They they seem to uh, have these. It's interesting, man. It's, it, it, you know, I try to, I'm trying to move. Well, I am moving. Even if I try, you know, even if I didn't try, it's going to happen. This happens. I'm moving away from them, uh, from looking at them as being about this, uh, you know, academic intellectual conversation regarding history, you know, politics, science, whatever you want to call it. And I'm starting to just see that, nah, man, this is some other thing going on behind the scenes. They argue and they, you know, these guys bicker about stuff that doesn't matter to nobody else that is of no use. It's not there. It's not even written in there, uh, you know, in there. Uh, what is it that they're supposed to have an agenda, right? Yes. Where, where's this bickering come uh, come from? Is that part of the agenda? Like, it seems like that's more of the agenda than anything else, like power play, man. But, but how could you be like having power dynamics over something as simple as history lessons? Who cares? You know, is it is it really a space for people looking for power? You know, it's kind of weird, man. Weird, I mean, brother. they don't have PhDs. They don't have a dog in the race to even be about power. At least be about something real. Anybody could be about something real. But, if you know, they, it's just it's just mind boggling, brother. It's mind boggling. And, um, you know, it's pseudo. Um, one note I have seen is that they, they seem to be starting to take a couple of them. I'm not going to give them all this credit and they all don't deserve this credit, but I'm not going to mention any names. But it seems like we touched them a little bit <laughs> regarding some history that they may have misconstrued. Some evidences they might have misconstrued and we might have saved some of them from even looking worse. <laughs> I think, I think, man, you know, and, um, you know, it's like, uh, yeah, man, it, it goes to show you teamwork takes you further than individual work. You know, this kind of these kind of discoveries, you know, it really requires like teamwork, but it but it does also require like a genuine commitment to a topic. You know what I'm saying? But teamwork is even better because then people are you're having conversations people can match your prowess your your ego or your or even your belief in your own understanding that's what this is supposed to be all about you know um sharp steel sharp and steel and that's supposed yeah. to be a, a beautiful process that's supposed to be a fun process brother can you imagine the elder scholars they got to sit back right first of all they they had phds a lot of them so they got to they got to sit back for a second. Not that I'm advising people to drink or do anything, but maybe they could have a convo with a cigar or some brandy somewhere and they could kick back and go at each other with respect. Sharp and steel, question things. You see what I mean? But make it look good. Step walk out of the room stronger together. You know what I'm saying? Walk out of the room um even wanting to challenge and debate each other you know what i mean but these dudes is really like not only are they not doing that well on the debate level but they kind of showing they don't really have any respect yes indeed if you ask me you know what indeed. i'm saying if you it's just indeed. my opinion you know indeed they have respect for africans they don't really show that they have respect for themselves and um I mean, he's going through some things, you know, I, I think, I think this is the, not just the beginning of the downfall of the downfall of Garfield Reed, but he may, not that I wish that it happens, because to me, it looks like he started being depressed. To me, 
I think he's depressed already. You know, he may not want to show it or, you know, let it be seen, but there was a debate. He counted on Richard Carrier. It didn't go his way, but he's so obsessed. He has such an obsession, an obsession of going against the people who have respect for Kemet. And he put money into that as well. He spent a lot of time and energy. And it's like his world is collapsing. It's like that was his only life purpose. And really, there's so many other things that he can look forward to that he can just be dealing with. So, a lot of people have mentioned that he has hate. And Reggie had a very serious hate also but i'm not listening to them like that sometimes i scroll through when videos come on my feed but it seems to me like reggie has slowed down on his hate he but, better he better slow down it's a it's a yo it's futile their approach what they're arguing is futile i mean i'm just saying you know just as a uh as a friend of history their approach to this is futile they can not win the, their argument is so weak it can only be won with persons that haven't really been looking at this topic for 20 30 years but when you are dealing with people that really have you know grown up reading legitimate scholars work <laughs> you you see i mean you don't even have to go that far man the reports of 2018 2019 you know they shatter that that stuff that they a lot of these guys they banked on on uh what's this cast name um the report that came out shuneman right a lot of these guys banked on shuneman's report of his dna findings which is what who hawass kind of latches himself onto because hawass doesn't do dna analysis right so um they all kind of wrote that report because that report was shocking it so it got immediate international media attention wow wow they're asiatics wow boom see we told you and that news went as far as light can go instantly kind of like uh kind of like the story about jesus you know what i'm saying it's like <laughs> you know that shit just is is a is a money maker because that's what people want to hear but the problem is is that when you actually read the reports and you find out how limited they are and how they're being criticized by others in the same field like they're getting an ass whooping over that report i mean when you realize that and you read the stuff then you then you see like wow man it, it, there really is racism in this egyptology shit. but it's people like hawass it really is i mean look you can't hide look what's behind you and and and, it, and just as silly as the argument is that trying to argue that the man behind you is not a black man that's as silly as it is intellectually when you get down into the details of the reports it's fraud it's fraud bro i mean we've seen this I, they haven't heard us talking about it in detail because you know we got to save a little bit for when they get their balls together and decide to confront us live over the internet any of them none of them have had the balls to do it not chief x not uh smash rockwell not garfield not reggie not not unk and i'm not trying to bring none of these dead beats back to life by saying their name but none of them shaka they running from that debate you know and it's because they know they've been caught they've been lying they are frauds dude they're frauds you know you mentioned Ark, and i think that in the last decade i have never seen him being criticized by his own people so much when you look at the comments during some live streams 
when you look at the comments left on some videos he's getting blasted by his own people people say that they are surprised they are shocked they don't even understand i never seen Ankh receiving so much criticism by his own people and it is what it is nobody yeah. forced him it's a direction that he chose so we'll see how far that gets him I'm, a, I'm 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 a, i'm in awe myself man because um i would have figured they would be been approaching you uh, uh trying to challenge you no they tried to disassociate they tried to basically block you out um and i find out to be just it's just a sign of cowardice bro they, they don't like scholarship they, they, yeah, they don't like the scholarship man. yeah and you know actually uh 10 years ago when he and his squad were going against me um i mentioned friendship scholarship you know <laughs> like they just you know um agree with each other or the other just because they're part of the same crew and then you know uh the reality or the the, the accuracy of their claims you know it doesn't really matter uh but nowadays see see 10 years ago 15 years ago we didn't have access to literature the way we do now like i said mm -hmm. not long ago we have universities that um put books on on, on um on display they allow people to download books directly on their websites and there's so many other websites that allow people to download all kind of books you have all those reports that's available it just takes a few clicks but reggie pseudo he said that hero is greek and other sort of things smash rock what is pseudo we know he said that the i mean you got to be high you got to be high on drugs to say that that's what I'm, i mean that's how far out a claim like that is like i'm not saying he i'm not saying he is but i'm just saying that reminds me of something a person says that have to be high out of their mind like where did you find that what scientific consensus is there on that where he just picked that out hey bro is up you know it's like my eye is a bird hey bro, <laughs> man what the fuck do you think this is elementary school you know it's like that you may as well say kuta kente is american what the fuck you know what i'm saying yo <laughs> i mean that's how misplaced that co those comments are and and he stand on it which is even more bizarre you know so and maybe there's an agenda behind it but um you know there's claims that people make you know there's been some claims um not about reggie or anybody not these guys but there was a claim a long time ago that a scholar that had passed away was passing away had died had been approached by the noi to buy his library for yes. for many years you know um somebody was trying to get a hold of that library who was not a friend of his scholarship Yes, it's Dr. Ben. People said, well, actually, some people have reported that the um, he gave his library to the NOI. There may even have been an article online on some website. Uh, but um, I, I think, actually, I think maybe it was Reggie who, um, who denied that. But, you know, with Ben. But we, uh, there, there was this mention that you know, um, I, maybe actually, I think I think the article says that Dr. Ben spoke at an event uh, related to the NOI, and he said that he will give his books, his library to the NOI. But maybe it did not happen at the end. But I'm not sure they were about to buy the books. I think it was just a gift that it was going to make, just to make sure that those books are preserved. But you know. I don't know too much about the rest but what's for sure is that uh reggie who claims to be a follower or student of dr ben has greatly betrayed the teachings of um, dr ben you know and 
Yeah, I feel Reed. I don't know why, but he caught a bit of heat because he talked about this individual who tried to claim, who actually claimed that Malcolm X was gay. Um, these cats, I, I don't know, but it's the beginning. It's, it's the beginning. Yeah, I know what you mean. It, yeah. It's been a series of, it's, they've been like making bumbles and it's been a bad look for some time now. So it's just seems like it's taking its ultimate effect. You know, mm. they just, they out of it, man. They did, they, they did themselves in. They did it. They did it to themselves, you know, and um, people that wanted to engage them, honestly, they didn't want that. They didn't want that engagement, the honest engagement. And so what they had left was themselves mm -hmm. and they're not honest, you know? And um, yeah, it's, Ray, it's Ray, 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 um, um, I almost said ready. Gal Galfield is on his way out. You know, I think, I think most of these cats are going to separate themselves from, uh, from Galfield because the way he's going now is just really going off, really going off. Um, now, Chris said that Jabari will uh, do an interview on his channel. It's funny to me because uh, Frankie will absolutely be furious and he may do his best so that it doesn't happen because Chris may still be live now, but he said that he will never support the rape okay again. He said that the debate that took place a few days ago that's the last time he paid for a debate he will never support that channel so for him to say that publicly and a, a member of uh well the leader of uh, uh frankie's organization to go and give an interview over there we'll see but um track field galfield read right now that's something man this i mean i don't know if he has started his live stream now but he is so hurt so hurt it's just amazing but I want to see the energy from um, um, Smash Rock. Well, so, well, I think that's good. I think it's good that um, Chris came to that conclusion. You know, I mean, he came to the conclusion. Um, I guess at his own pace. But it's not. It's not reliable. <laughs> it's not reliable. If 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 Frankie changes his mind and send him a text message or call him, you know, what I'm saying he he will he will gladly be be back over there. You know he, he's not he's not um he hasn't shown a backbone himself to be to be solid yeah he ain't got a backbone yo see he hasn't shown that so and recently it was horrible that that you know he we found out that he's he said <laughs> he asked you know the, the the guy for a debate after saying that the guy should clean his platform after saying that the guy still had videos about polite you know but it is what it is you know sometimes and it's, no, it's no excuse it's no excuse for anybody over there they, they, if you're over there and you don't if you can't see what the problem is then you are just you're you are a joke you're just a joke that's all nobody can take you serious you know if you can't see what the problem with that platform is and it's not to be i, I don't have anything personal against um sign that i didn't have any hatred upon you know like engaging him or anything like that in fact I, I even wasn't impressed by him just over the setting thing years ago which is why i stopped dealing with the conscious community like when you see when you see little funny things like that happen the safest thing to do if you have any intelligence is back away because when you see a group of people like that that are supposed to be supporting each other begin to backstab each other in the worst type of way a way that looks like COINTEL pro a way that your own enemy would only be suspected of doing when you see people do that to themselves that way an intelligent person says oh you know what let me back the hell up from this so the so this shit don't affect me you know and that's ultimately what i did and it's the same thing with um with his uh bullshit behavior with people going back to him recently it's like anybody just like chris um but i'm not dissing him um over that because people people are free to choose what they want to choose but here's the thing i could never fucking trust you and i will never it's not that i can't i also won't ever because the moment i see that type of flip-flopping 
I already know what it's about. And I already know what it's designed to do. And that means if you rely on him, you're going down also. If you follow them, you're going down also. So why would I want to do that to myself? It's just easy to see. You know, if you want to be around um, and have people respect you a little bit, the easiest thing to do is avoid the motherfuckers because they foul. Excuse my language, Shaka. I'm sorry. No, 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 it's okay. I mean, I don't know, even like speaking the, like the, this the, really the, on the, my the, own the, platform. The, yeah. the thing is that, you know, he, he he's against Frankie's platform now. Now he attacked me because I was against that platform. But, yeah. Um, and he, 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 has, he attacked me too. Yes, yes, true. And he has. Which, to, which oh, by the way, I have to laugh at because I'm older, got a hell of a lot of experience on earth. And you didn't do anything with to a him. hell of a lot of people especially starting off from my own hometown and i just had to laugh at that shit. i just have to laugh at it you know because it is what it is I, I i can tell it's some it's a youngster it's a youngster reacting you know what i mean like that that kind of outburst from chris he should know that he needs to be more mature but you it know you know it doesn't work you know um <laughs> we don't need to say any name but there's a sister um everything was all good she will come on our platforms. We will go on her platform. Um, she said well, she was going to sue uh, Frankie. Well, there you have it. And, and I haven't heard about the lawsuit. You know, I'm just saying, but you know. Oh, I told you. I told everybody that lawsuit ain't fucking happening. Okay. Just, it's just an excuse because, again, experience on earth. I know what a lawsuit looks like. Mm. You know, it ain't that simple. And it definitely wasn't what she was calling it out to be. And it had been pointed out to her a million times. Motherfuckers could have sued him years ago, a long time ago. She never thought in her brain that there's a reason why that hasn't happened. It's not that nobody has tried or it's not that um, people haven't thought about it, but she needs to learn herself. But the other thing that she needs to learn herself is don't try to bullshit people. When you go back to someone that calls you a bull dagger, when you go back yourself, you're making a public admission not only about how you view yourself but how you view other people even if it ain't so with other people and it's just you you go back you, she went back and that's the same thing as again that's how you know bro that's how you know with the flip-flopping thing it's like people that flip look and 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 not to mention this is in business people see this in business all the time bro you do one flip-flop in business that where people are doing business, legitimate business on a serious level, oh, you're out for good. They will never, why would someone trust you when they got hundreds of thousands of dollars to lose and they're gonna trust some flip-flopping? Not one time will it be accepted, just on the professional level. But these people ain't even professional. So you can only compare them with the street. But where in the streets is that even acceptable? Where do you survive flip-flopping on cats in the street no you get your brains blown out that's what happened and but yet they do it all the time it's just normal normal i'm gonna do it like this i'm gonna oh damn you've been surviving like that okay wow i, I didn't even know that was possible they're they gonna learn the hard way they, they've learned the hard way already you know what i'm saying <laughs> then they put their frustration on other people but you know that's just for the record. I, I just, not I just a good recipe yeah <laughs> you know what i'm saying and you would think somebody would learn but but it just ain't so people learn at their own um timing you know <laughs> you learn at your own timing brains develop at a different rate yeah you know it's not everybody so in sync. yeah everybody got their own place but i mean you know but then when you see like the relationship that that individual was coming out of with chris the confessions and all of that stuff I mean, why the fuck would you want to be around anyone who engages people they don't like? And why would you want to be around someone who engages people that lie, that scam others, that play games with others? So the, the number one rule of life is, is that if you don't like somebody, stop dealing with them. The first time you see something that's that doesn't work with your ethic, just stop dealing with them. Some you know, continue because because for 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 financial gains, yeah, you know, well, well, or, or other gains, you know, yeah. But you know, yeah. I, I, I um, 
I, they I, deal I, with I, each other this I, way, bro. I, they I, all I think, we said, I think we said enough because yeah, I don't. I want to see ten, ten. No, but it's, a, me, it's Frankie. Ten pieces of me being accused of, of I don't know what, but you know, I'm just saying I haven't seen the lawsuit. You know, what I'm saying. <laughs> oh yeah, that but shit ain't never gonna come. Yeah. You know <laughs> what? And it's never gonna come, uh, just because there's something else going on. That's why it ain't gonna come. It is because it is. guess what? If it was damaging to the reputation and it wasn't true but especially if it was damaging there would be i mean what what else do you need what else do you need i mean look if a black man if a black man comes up to you and lies to you shock says all kinds of bad things open on the net about you right okay this is a black man so you can't cry and say see i'm a black man that's why it's happening to me because another black man is doing it to you right so you can't claim that right so there have to be some other rationale in it too that's that 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 works right well um i mean the reality of it is is that some people can act actually have a better chance and she even said lgbt community don't mess around don't mess around you need to go you going to do this because the lgbt but to be honest the lgbt community ain't do a motherfucking thing about sinetta calling her a bull dagger. see the lgbt community all the shit that she taught none of it happened zero let's let's let's, let's wrap this up uh because yeah. you know I, I i don't want it to feel like you know we spend so much time talking about that particular person you True. know what i mean but you know what but it's been a month now it's been they, they said three <laughs> weeks four weeks watch watch everybody watch uh, well now it's uh, about to be new, new year. I haven't yeah. seen it. I, that's yeah. what i'm saying i haven't seen it Mm -hmm. I haven't seen it, you know, because so, like you know, when I put but, those two things together, it just tell me something fraudulent about what's being said. That's all. So I, you know, <laughs> just, you know really good. but anyway, you know, I'm I'm gonna you know wrap this uh, live stream up. Thank you for being there. Now I've shared VB's live stream link. I also made a post. He will go live. You have the link in the chat. VB and his upcoming live stream. Uh, it may be a, a, a couple of hours or something like that. So, you know, feel free to tune in. And thank you for being there, brothers and sisters. Um, I'm just going to make my closing remarks, but I will not play the outro, though. So stay safe, stay healthy. If I'm allowed to by the nature, I will definitely holler back at you. I don't argue as steadfast. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. If you do not think right, you will not act right. If you know better, you will do better. Do I to do an Echeru? Hotel. Hotel.